Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast. So, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way for July 15th until 22nd. Okay, and I'm actually preparing for the past live forecast for all signs. Now, <clears throat> have a bit of a cold because the weather has been like up and down. Alright Taurus, you are walling yourself up from a uh, from an air sign. Let's take a look at that. I'll be pulling out more clarifications on this, okay? Alright. Ooh, celebration. Well, you're afraid to celebrate about something, even though you are already in the verge of getting it. But I feel like, you know, I feel like it's the right attitude. <clears throat> that you don't want to jinx the situation because you, there is something that you've been working so hard for quite a period of time. And you just don't want to ruin the situation by celebrating in advance. Picking up something about your trachea, and uh, don't stay too late at night. Check your eyesight, or check your vision. Bit of a depression for some because you're not, you know, some committed Taurians. You're not really happy in a uh, situation. All right, let's shuffle one more time, okay? You know, this is actually a very good timing for couples or for those singles who's been trying to catch up on the last time or if you've been busy for the past few days, weeks and months and I feel like this is going to be a very, very loving, charming and magnetic and full of eh, love, can't say surprise, but love, you know, this week. Especially if you, especially if you're already married, you also need to express your love. Try to be a little bit more open-minded because you know sometimes the reason why we have that argument or why we we're having some problems in a relationship is because we cannot really see the point of view of our partners or we don't really open up our eyes or mind. All right. Ace of Ariel, High Priestess, to Raphael. All right, now let's take a look first at your general aspect. Okay, you have a very—it's like you just recently received good news, but you want to keep this from somebody, especially if you're with an air sign. Okay, now. It's like you don't want to jinx the situation. You don't want to tell it to everyone, not unless that you're already sure of it. Now, you're also keeping a secret from a uh, from an air sign. Aside from that, I, it seems like you're you will be getting money, or you've asked for a loan, or you borrowed an amount from somebody that is far from you and which is of a fire sign. Okay, now. There is a lump sum of money that's going to be coming your way, and I feel like you'll be very happy. But 
you cannot um you cannot really just you know like what do you call this like let anybody know about it because you don't know how to explain how did you get it so there will be a lie okay there will be some sort of uh i can't say betrayal but it's more likely that you'll be keeping secrets from your partner about where did you get the money actually and then you will keep on communicating with somebody from the past and you will continuously get along with the charade okay now be very careful because someone might actually be watching you now when it comes to your finances when it comes to your finances it seems like yes there is something that you're about to celebrate it looks like there is a new project um a new opportunity that you will be getting signing contract that you're gonna be like sealing and uh, well agreeing and signing as well and closing and oh it's more likely an opportunity that you have tr that you have been trying for the past three weeks or three months and eventually you're gonna be getting it but it's like you will also be a little bit sad okay because there is a situation a place or an environment that you have to leave behind in order for you to find whatever it is that you're looking for so there is a possibility that you'll be getting a new contract new job offer or a new opportunity in another company or in another place or another department and you'll be very sad of leaving your former colleagues or your former company well this is something that you've been wishing for something that you've been desiring and finally that you're being offered and you are ready to go now when it comes to your health you're feeling a little bit distressed or feeling a little bit you know worn out and frustrated and you've been working so hard and you've also been trying to keep your distance from the one that you that you're with right now because there has been a lot of gaps and there has been a lot of misunderstandings which is i feel like it's mostly coming from you it is also because of your guilty conscience because you're you're hiding something from your partner now for singles it's it looks like you're gonna be keeping away or keeping your distance from your friends and family because you're feeling a little bit let's say depressed or withdrawn okay this week so try to avoid staying too late at night and check your eyesight especially if you've been having a lot of blurry vision it could be related to your to your sugar level and try to offer something uh, natural or organic like for example instead of white egg go for brown egg instead of white rice go for brown rice okay and stuff like that now when it comes to your sex life well love will be sweeter this week because i feel like there will be a lot of wooing there will be a lot of you will also be feeling a little bit nostalgic your partner will finally be paying attention to you of course your love will be renewed and your sex life will be more active than how it used to be because you will have enough time for each other you will also start appreciating each other and it's like your new honeymooners now well well now for singles it looks like you're gonna be spending some time with somebody from the past especially if it's a water sign okay now just be very careful because i feel like this water sign from the past is already entangled with somebody else and this person is slowly you know like trying to move away from you and trying to ward off from you because they want to concentrate in the new relationship that they're already in and they they're about to break the uh you know the uh, the news to you by this weekend so don't really put your hopes up too much this is for singles now your love life you need to express what you really feel what's your intention now this is for those who's already in a committed relationship for you to save up your you know your current relationship your marriage and if you've been having a lot of arguments that it's like you don't even understand each other anymore now you need to open up you need to say your intent your you know you need to express whatever is inside of you instead of keeping it and try to keep an open mind when your partner is trying to state something or trying or they are trying to illustrate or explain something to you try to have an open mind and not and not just to see your own point of view because this is a relationship okay it should be for the two of you and not just it's always you who's always right 
And this is the reason why you've been having a lot of problems with your careers and finances or with concentrating in your work because you are not really looking at other people's point of view and perspective. It's always about you. Now, this time you need to open up a little bit, try to, you know, try to absorb other people's opinion and advice and try to put yourself in their situation as well. Now, Ace of Ariel, it's your lucky day, new resources of money, time and support. A change in a job or a promotion. See, I told you. Now, the High Priestess. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Now, to Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. See, as I've said that your, you know, your, your marriage or your relationship will go for a reconstruction and redevelopment as well you know you will have that reconnection again so good for you Torians who's already married or, or already in a relationship but for those who's single and trying to work it out with somebody from the past especially if they are water sign be very careful and don't really put your hopes up with this person all right so anyway that's it for you for this week taurus and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net and thank you for subscribing thank you for watching my videos and thank you for sharing it blessings to you